Hi, I'm James. Welcome to Tobaldi Goes Modelworks. Now, this is being filmed after I filmed the inbox review, just to clarify something. Now, I had to go up and deal with Pappy and various things, and SD KFZ means Sonderkraft Fahrer Zug. Apologies for my German. Roughly translated as a special purpose vehicle. So that clarifies that one. And secondly, I forgot while I was re recording the video. Why the hell am I doing so many of these in these kits? Well, simply put, once upon a time, I built a few bit. I built I built one piece of Tamurama. And I built another piece and another piece, and then I got carried away. So in this case, I've got at least a, a tin in my stash, which enable me to build up if I'm bored, if I'm bored, or I've got um, convalescing as I am now. A the simple stress-free builds. Um, I have got one forty-eighth kit, one forty-eighth armor kits by Hobby. Hobby Boss. Hopefully you'll see what I think you're probably gonna see one of those in the next few weeks. So anyhow this is future me saying bye for now. Um see you in the video. Hi, I'm James. Welcome to, to Boldy Goes Model Works. And here we have yes, it's a Tamiya. 148th military mini miniature series kit. It's number 74 on the thing. On the thing. It's German eight wheeled heavy armored car. SD KFZ dot 232. Um, number 74 on the kit. I think this is 2012 releases. Let's have a look on the copyright dates. Yep, yeah, 2012. Two colour schemes. The very exciting German grey. And the very interesting dark yellow and green stripey thing. Which is the one I'm going to do. So. Let's pop the lid off the box. Pull out the sprues. And see what we've got here. First sprue out of a bag is the B sprue. As you can see, it's a lovely, in a lovely grey colour. Again, nicely detailed. Captured the. All the angles of the uh, armoured car quite well. Again, the chassis is one piece. I don't think there's any weights on these, but uh, again, nice piece of armour. This your turret there. So then you can build it up. And then this one is sprue C. Which has all the gub, most of the little bits and pieces on here. Including the massive great aerial. That's an aerial on the top of the uh, armoured car. All your tools. And your, and your torso of the figure there okay and then we have sprues plural A again it's the wheels and the uh, chassis the drive shafts so you get four of those 
on the, on the, on the, on this one. Again, when you get the multiple sprues, you tend to get spare parts. Hopefully. Again, it's no nonsense approach, so it should should, should sit pretty level. This one. Wheels are fairly straightforward. This uh, our Tamiya staple. So if you don't, if you don't like doing tracks, uh, you can build them on, build them up that way. So that's I've not done an eight-wheeled uh, armored car. I thought it would be a bit slight, something slightly different. Now. The history book and the decals. Again, for two uh, pieces of armor, you get quite a few decals here. Pretty well protected. Two decals. They are quite chunky, but obviously under the clear coats and that, they tend to disappear. Okay. Now I do remember what the, that that actually actually says, but I can't. The, my my mind's gone a bit blank at the moment, so. Well, the SDKF said it's got, it's something to do with the vehicle. It's vehicle nomenclature of it. So this one background info info again blank sheet shows your camo camo again. First option is in German grey. It's in the Balkans. And the second one is Kursk in Russia in 1943. So a little bit different for me. This is green and uh, yellow. So in fun to practice your airbrushing skills on that one. And this is the instruction book. Again, it's a one-page jobby. Stretches out like sh show. So, again, building up the armoured car. No weight, ballast weights here. Again, drilling drill the holes. They obviously state the size as one mil. So I'll have to get the vernier out for them. Again, building up the uh, chassis. Egg, egg, well, you don't have to get them straight, put it like that, because they they it literally falls together straight in my experience. It's very nice. Then building up your mud guards here and here. And it states put the wheels on again you can do them as a you can do them as a dry fit at that point obviously they're easy it's easier to have them off when it's when they're being painted and basically building up the structure adding the lights etc and the tools Obviously, they're fairly scattered around. And then we move on to the... Adding more bits to it, including the spare wheel. Why do they put it on the back? Because it'll get... Shot out quite easily. Building up the uh, turret. 
simple and straightforward there. Um, and you add your adding your mountings for the aerial up there, and then you add in your your aerial. Now I think these things are width restrict. They it's width restrictions for it. I seem to remember the tugs that uh, Heathrow had them on. So, anyhow, that's if that's it for this review. Okay, bye for now.